everyone, my name is Leon and if you don't know me, I've been making props for many years. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I make this bow. This is Midanak what? Midanak what? Midanak what? Midanak what? So anyway, you know what I'm going to say. And most importantly, you know what I'm going to make. And as usual, I've included a template. So if you want to make along with me or you want to learn how to make it, welcome to check it out in my YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. And I can't wait to show you how I make this bowl. So without further ado, let's go. First prepare the template I've ready. It is in A4 size and the cutting line has been marked properly. Cut along the cutting line, tap it with cello tap, and glue it onto your harder art card. Now cut the template out slowly and remove only one side of this part. Next, use a metal wire and bend accordingly. This will be used as the inner support structure. And the reason why I'm using this metal is because this can be slightly pulled. Now remove this part on only one side and press the template onto one centimeter form. After that, cut everything out slowly as every edges has to be nice and straight. This will also require two pieces to sandwich the metal inside. Now use the template and mark this line to ensure the metal placement. Place the metal onto it and trace along the metal. Using a sharp razor knife, make a V card on it for the metal support. Now slightly sand the metal surface with sandpaper and use super glue to stick the metal into the groove. Now take the other piece, sandwich the metal and push it. It will leave marks on the foam and it will be used to cut the groove on the other side. Use a marker pen to mark it for more visible cutting line. Repeat the same cutting with a razor knife so the metal will have space to be sandwiched. Now draw straight lines on every tip and then make a V cut. This will be used for enhance the tip because foam tip can get damaged easily. Now use super glue and stick the wooden skewer into it and the extra can basically just trim off with a cutter and also don't forget the groove on the other form Now apply contact adhesive on both sides and sandwich them slowly When it's done, move it aside and bring back the template Cut this part out and trace 4 pieces on a 1cm form Once every piece is cut out, I use contact adhesive to stick them onto it And now it shall look like this Move back to the template, cut the other side out and also this Use only this part and I trace two pieces onto 5mm foam. Next, I cut them out slowly and carefully. After that, I apply contact adhesive on both sides and stick on it slowly. Now moving to this, just trace onto a 3mm foam and cut two pieces out and then stick onto the handle, just like this. Now let's go back to this template. Cut accordingly to the line because it will be used for marking the sanding line. Place it onto the foam and trace the sanding line. Now before we start sanding, let's finish the rest of the part. Using this template that I've created in Papagura will allow us to get accurate dimension for this part. Trace this onto a 5mm foam and cut it out by slanted cut on every edges and then including these two as well. For this, I use hard 4mm foam so that it can hold everything in shape nicely. Just like the other parts, all the edges have to be slanted cut. After everything is cut and ready, first sticking these few pieces together. And do not close this part yet, because we will need to do something on the metal support. Now mark the attachment marking, and also the hole for the metal to go through and cut a hole with a sharp knife. Now slot in the metal and make sure everything fits nicely. For the 4 pieces that is sticking now, I use 4mm hard foam so the tip won't get damaged easily. Now back to the main structure and sand off everything with a small sanding machine. First start with a harder sanding bit, then smooth the bit so the surface will be nice and smooth as a baby egg. Now back to this again. Align the metal with the corner and make a marking, and this will be attached with a thinner metal wire. Next, use epoxy glue to stick the metal together. To use an epoxy glue, just mix the AB part evenly, and then apply it onto it. Leave it for a few minutes, after it fully dried, slot it into this part. Bend the metal wire into a U-shape, this is to make the hook for the string. Now glue all the seam with the super glue including the opening, and this is how the metal hook looks like. Now, for the final part, first cut this off the template, place it onto an art card, and modify it by changing the end slightly lower. Now the new template is ready. Cut it out and trace it onto a 3mm foam. I slanted cut inward on all the edges to give it a little bit of dimension. Now first stick them onto both sides of the bowl. After that, glue me the middle. And next, mark all the detail lines on every part. This line will be slightly cut with a razor knife. And the reason behind this is for a much easier masking process. Now for the final look of all the details before moving to painting. And the final step before painting is head seal all the surface. Heat sealing the foam is a very important step before you start priming it. It's because the EVA foam has so many tiny holes, if you heat seal it, it can somehow close the pore and it can save a lot of time during priming. After priming it, I suggest first use black paint as the best color and then paint over with gold. 
then mask the gold color with 3M masking tab or painter's tab. Next will be the pink, and for this color, it is pink mixed with a little bit of purple to give it a slightly different tone. After masking everything, it is time for the final pan. For the final black color, I use matte black because it makes everything look so good. Now for the moment of truth, remove all the masking slowly and pray to every god and hope everything is fine. And lastly, do not forget this, just simply use purple pen and pink to create a little bit of gradient. And then I remove all the foam at the end that I've used for hanging purpose, and stick it onto the bowl with super glue. And for the handle, I use this strap I found from Silk store and just wrap over it. I don't know what it's called, so if you know what is the name, just leave a comment below and let the others know. And for the final step, use a thick black string and tie it on the hook. After tying on the both sides, and then it is done. That's it for my video today. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out my other videos. So, see you next time.